cars and they all black Got four bras and they all that We call that ballin' Doing this is my calling Flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling I'm like yeah What it do Penthouse man what have you What's going on everybody Welcome back today guys To the channel Top 10 drips of the week is back on this Saturday, man, we changed it up again. Uh, I just kind of lost track of time, right? I mean, things came up. Figured Saturday once again, try to get this out for you guys, and we got quite the week lined up. First and foremost, huge thank you to everybody that has been sending in their clips. If you guys are not aware on how to do so, it's very simple. You're gonna go ahead and fill out the template that I have linked down below in the description box with your clip, either public or unlisted, so I can actually see it from YouTube, and it's as simple as that, and YouTube could be entered in for Tom 10 Drifts. Now, if you guys did miss week 15, it was a vote for number one, it was a tandem battle, and it was actually quite the battle. We had for our first time, DSI Logics and Boosted 427 going against Miyamoto and Kia. Now, they actually won by 77% of the votes. Huge thank you to everyone that did participate in that voting. And we actually have another one for this week, so we got another top 10 showdown vote for number one so make sure you guys do stick around to see the two finalists now this clip i thought was pretty cool i uh, just kind of got tapped and did a wheelie the car didn't actually go underneath of them but it was really close they both hold it out i definitely need to get back into grand theft auto we had unhandy fern with a nice little reverse entry save we have emerson 2611 with a most wanted clip out here doing a little drifting i'm pretty sure this is a modded save file correct me if i'm wrong down below but next clip coming up is an irl clip of the day now this is coming from from Ben Dake CZ. Now he has a YouTube channel where he's been posting some of his drifting footage and this is really cool. This is his first time drifting. He's 16 years old out here. Mercedes-Benz 99 C-Class with a welded differential and he's killing some figure eights out here. Now he did mention that you know this all started because of you know watching the channel and it was really cool to kind of read through that and he said he started with the TMX Pro, you know, he then kind of went on and get the TX with a 350mm Sparco wheel, right? You know, the same style setup that I had, you know, getting into the actual Sims and then moving in to IRL drifting. Huge thank you for watching the channel. Big thanks for setting in your clip and, you know, sharing your experience with us. Drift God, though, starting us off number 10 with a huge jump drift initiation, bouncing off a roof of a car, then kind of, you know, hooking it into this next extension piece. I feel like people aren't jumping enough cars in Forza. I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like I used to do it all the time back in the day, trying to jump a car over a mountain, you know, just trying to clear it that little bit. And we had catch some doors in OVO here with the set of Corsa on a very overused drift playground track, but I really enjoyed this clip. Very, very close proximity on the tandems and it actually gets even closer around the bend we also have a car coming in at the last minute doing one of those right i mean we've all been there on drift playground you've seen it happen you're in a beautiful tandem and someone decides to floor it out of the pits and uh, right into you thankfully these guys got away with it scot free and they're gonna hold a nice little clip perfect spot number nine for today i you know i had the dock marks man it's an overused track you guys got to go out there expand your horizons on a set of corsa number eight alan rom beam ng drive with a really dangerous clip down here on a toge session and i gotta be honest with you he's giving it man. you can see him right there just hauling ass one wheel in the dirt on some of these corners but really nice control of the car this is not an easy game to drift by any means and he makes it look good he's got to be on the wheel out here i definitely want to get back into bmng for this week coming up so look forward to that on the channel with the full wheel we're going to try to do some toge drifting because that looked fun out there man bmng drive great game on the pc number seven this week boosted 427 changes gamer tag to rozoa and uh, i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it r33 reverse entry right it's it's not a bad clip man he definitely holds it out it's a really nice you know he's not twitchy whatsoever and he's going to hold it into the nice solo section that he's running here by himself would like to see him do a nice little double reverse entry man tuck that into the rear corner right that's all i'm saying man good clip though nice control of the car number six this week Grand Theft Auto 5, we're going back here, man. AZ, Elbraham, S13s, doing a little jump drift. Now, I like this clip for a couple reasons. One, they were very, very creative on the end of this. I know what you're thinking right now. This is a very overused track, but wait, there is more. They're gonna go through and make their own course out here. Hit a nice little jump drift into the parking lot area. If you guys have seen this track before, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this before, at least send in the clips, but I did like it, and they're not done yet. They're actually gonna loop this entire thing and go right back on the track although we don't know if they actually made the jump trick back right i mean that's all i'm saying number five real skill waves with a huge forza horizon 4 tandem session 
here at the train yard looks like a little bit of winter going down right now you know snowfalls going but looks like not a lot of it has actually touched the train yard so that is nice to see that they didn't kind of oversaturate with you know too much snow on the game i'd like to know your honest opinion about winter is it you know a little bit less than what you expected is it you know doable for that week we're going to come through with a nice little three to four man around this next few corners and just you know trying to tuck that in get as close as possible without touching the paint out there that's what you're going for you don't want sparks you want to just you know try to slide it in perfectly and this is exactly it right here dcg tall guy with a huge forza horizon one clip here on eagle ridge man this is a throwback bmw m3 gtr and they're going to get some really nice close consistent tandems here on this nice little section ideal ridge now this is a, not an easy thing to do obviously if you guys do remember forza horizon one there is no tuning whatsoever so this is all strictly up upgrades and just you know tweaking that throttle and brake a little bit and also the handbrake to kind of kick it out but really great job by both drivers just staying clean and consistent it's not very often you see a run like that in Forza Horizon 1 that's all I'm saying out there big thank you for sending that clip in number three data five man take a ride right now have a listen When I first watched this clip, I didn't think it was going to make it, but I really did it. He held it. Extremely fast initiation here on this reverse entry. He's going to hold this entire thing coming down. Zero correction whatsoever on the entire clip. Really nice run, Datafy. Huge thing for sending it in. Number two, Poly S and Mies Miyamoto. Miyamoto coming through once again this week. Big thank you for the consistent uploading here on the channel. These guys are over here at Motorland SP. We have the S13 on the lead and the Cresta on the chase. Both looking good out here. And it's really nice to see these guys just with that rhythm, you know, with the switchbacks. Just really nice tuck. I'd like to be able to actually go into this lobby and sit in their car as they're doing it, right? And be able to kind of, you know, ride shotgun. Maybe that'll be a feature later on. I don't know, man. It's late right now. I'm thinking crazy out here. You know what's even crazier, though? Little Grand Theft Auto on number one right now. Number one. I know, man. I'm so sorry. But it had to be done. DS Waffle N, Steger, and Evan and Fury with a four man. I ain't even gonna say it yet. I'm gonna wait for you guys to see this clip. But we have a four man jump drift 360 tandem mid air coming down. Now, if you guys do remember, this was a clip that we showcased earlier on in this year. I told you guys to hit the section with a multi car clip. These guys absolutely killed it. Huge thing you were sending that in. I had a smile on my face when I opened that up for the first time, and I'm not gonna lie. Number one, though, going head to head here today OTM, Ted Bundy, and Weedmar. I'm not too sure who the other drivers are in this clip, but we're here at Nihon Sportsland at the C course with a huge five man train coming into this first corner. I felt this was a perfect opportunity to put a full sim game like a set of course, a head to head against Grand Theft Auto 5. I thought this was a perfect comparison. We had a four man 360 against a five man big train entry. Let me know your thoughts on who won. Poll will be up right now for you guys, top right hand of your screen. You guys got one week to vote and I'll be showcasing the winner for next top 10 drifts of the week. We do have a few really nice montages coming in. Topless Lad, you guys have seen him here before many times. He's actually thrown out two montages for me to showcase for you guys. And there's some good ones, man. These guys are good. You know, it takes a lot of time to make these and that's why I do appreciate these so often. Because you gotta go through, go back, get the recordings, you gotta get the good replay angles right. Here's another one here from Topless Lad with a really nice tan and run coming inches to that nice little dip there lithuania yt with another montage which can be found down in the description box for you guys this one's on live for speed really nice little edit here once again really nice quality clips right big trains out here that's what we want to see from these montages man the best of the best clips hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode here on top 10 drifts make sure you guys go ahead slap that like button down below you guys follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are found down below and once again if you guys are not aware on how to send in your clips it's very simple template down below send it to the email address provided with your youtube link either public or unlisted once again huge thank you for coming around to top 10 drifts i love this series i love for you guys participate and i can actually see some quality clips coming in on the emails right i mean it's always fun to see some good 
good drifts every once in a while or once a week, right? I mean, top 10 drifts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.